There is another environmental challenge that many may not have heard about. Beijing is one of the driest cities in the world. So to make sure there is enough water, literally, to go around for these games, China has had to take some extreme steps. Some say too extreme. The story tonight from NBC's Ian Williams. For Chao Mi Tsang, this parched barren land is a constant reminder of the sacrifice he's made for the Olympic dream. The government's told farmers here to stop growing rice, which demands a lot of water. And this is what remains of their paddy fields. It's to save water for Beijing, he told me. A 200-mile channel's been built to divert water from the farmland of neighboring Hebei province to make sure the capital doesn't run dry during the games when demand's expected to surge by up to 30 percent. Even local reservoirs are off limits to Hebei's hard-pressed farmers. How do you get us out here? We're not allowed to use the water, this farmer told me. If there's a drought, we reap nothing. It's been 10 years since they've had any decent rain here. It's pretty tough to grow anything. So increasingly, the farmers are following the water to Beijing. Where 40 million flower pots have been brought in for the games, fountains adorn the city. And where Hebei's water has been tapped to fill the lavish rowing venue, which used to be a dry riverbed. I can recall this place as just bare land, this official told me. But look at it now. I really feel this is like a dream. Though to China's most outspoken environmentalist, it's a nightmare. Because it's the terrible waste of water. And the water situation right now in Beijing is very dangerous. The water table below this booming city is falling by 20 feet a year. A rapidly growing population, now 17 million, is sucking dry the groundwater. In Hebei, where a travelling opera is a welcome break from the fields, pride in the Olympics has muted criticism from farmers, who have received some compensation. But Beijing's thirst for their water could be sowing the seeds of conflict beyond the games, a competition for water that's already turning parts of Hebei into a dust bowl. Ian Williams, NBC News, Hebei province. And a reminder, though hard to believe, we begin broadcasting from Beijing just two days from now, Thursday night's broadcast. And an important program note here, on Friday night, NBC will broadcast the opening ceremony at 7.30 p.m., 6.30 central. That may be a half hour earlier than it says in your local listings.